Welcome everyone to our first episode of Classes in Session brought to you exclusively by Class Valuation where we're going to be discussing the ins and outs of what you need to know as a reverse mortgage professional when it comes to appraisals and valuations and plus a host of other very valuable information. And today to kick off our series, we have Class Valuation's Chief Appraiser, John Dingman. So thank you very much, John, for joining us. Thanks for having me, Shannon. Appreciate it. We have a lot of questions today, but in our first episode, we're just going to dive in piecemeal. And the first one is the COVID flexibilities uh, is a term maybe that we've used in the last year. And while the pandemic is winding down, we still have some substantial changes that have happened to the way that business is done when it comes to appraisals for Heckam loans. Can you explain to us briefly where we stand today? So the COVID flexibilities, again, started last March, beginning of April. Um, the COVID flexibilities were offered to appraisers, Shannon. So that is a, a common misconception as well, right? They, they weren't offered to consumers or the lenders uh, per se. They were offered to appraisers. Um, those uh, have been extended, usually on a, it seems like a bi-monthly basis, uh, although FHA did make the decision to extend the flexibilities, at least for the exterior only, uh, until June 30th of this year. The misconception is around the condition of the property or the relevant property characteristics um, and their identification. And so on an exterior only property, the appraiser must be able to verify and identify those characteristics. And what I mean by that, Shannon, are things like the lot size, the square footage, the bed and bath count, you know, those types of things. Um, we can often, as appraisers, find that information in public records, the county assessor website, something like that. Um, we might even be able to verify that information with a prior listing. Um, prior listings can include photographs, although some agents remove those photographs. Um, but if they exist, I can go through the house and look at the condition of the property um, through those photographs. Uh, I can also actually call the homeowner. That's always been an opportunity with exterior only appraisals, but it's emphasized here with the COVID flexibilities. And that would be something like, Shannon, I'm reviewing public records. Your house is 1,500 square feet. You have a prior MLS listing that says it is also 1,500 square feet, three bedroom, two baths. Does that sound accurate? Sure. I'm looking at photographs. It looks like you have granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, hardwood flooring throughout, is all of that accurate? And if you agree to all that, and I'm confident I can complete a credible appraisal report, then I can proceed. If I don't have any photographs at all, no prior listing, no recent listing, and no interview with you, uh, the consumer, the, the homeowner, to do any of that, then I have to defer to um, and ask for a traditional interior exterior inspection. There are some challenges involved with an exterior only. And of course, having the senior hat, you know, not everyone's tech savvy. Um, getting those photos uploaded can be a bit of a challenge. What have you seen or what are uh, appraisers doing to make that process a little easier? So there are a variety of different solutions, Shannon. The, the, we have a, an app actually, uh, it's called Envision Your Home. Uh, and so uh, what that looks like when we send a link to the homeowner or the occupant, uh, they pick it up on their cell phone and they, they don't have to install anything. They don't go to a website. They just open the application and it walks them through the process. So uh, take a picture of your kitchen, take a picture of your living room, take a picture of your bedroom. Um, those photographs are then provided to the appraiser uh, for their evaluation. If you don't know how to do that or that's not an option. Appraisers and their software providers have gotten creative. They've done some of their own applications for appraisers. Um, homeowners have taken some of their own photographs without the use of an application uh, and sent those to appraisers. Some appraisers have, again, trying to avoid COVID, uh, but nonetheless have either handed their phone off at the door uh, and the homeowner has taken the pictures with that or they've done FaceTime. Uh, and the homeowner has walked the appraiser around the house. Uh, so those are, are certainly some options. 